Hey guys, quick update before we get into the video. Um, yeah, I figured I'll do my intro like this a little bit quickly. Um, so what I want to let you guys know is I, contrary to my last video, which was about going away from YouTube, stepping back, I'm actually coming back. Like, I did not expect this either, quite frankly. But at a bare minimum, one video per month, and it's going to be really cool. Um, yeah, so after this video, there'll be another video within a few weeks time and it will just be outlining, um, not sure exactly when it's coming out, but within the next few weeks sometime, it will be outlining the future of this channel and what I plan on, what I plan on doing with this content, you know? So stay tuned for that. Now let's get into the video. Hey guys, Jesse 101 here and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we'll be looking at auto refilling chests. Um, as you may see in my inventory, I already have some items in my inventory right now because I actually just, I actually just recorded like the whole intro and, ex and explained everything, but um, I'm recording face cam on my phone and I accidentally did like a time lapse. <laughs> so it has no audio and it's also me going like, <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was a really weird laugh, but. Mm, annoying. Anyways, so in this video, guys, we're going to get straight into how to um, do order refilling chests in your own worlds. And yeah, let's let's get straight into it, guys. Come on. Um, and I just want to start off this video by saying, um, other than what I already said, I did make a system um, like a couple years back, and a lot of people are finding it helpful at the moment. But the issue is, it's a bit outdated. It doesn't really work properly anymore. So I wanted to come back and make a video, guys, to just show you how you can make it work again. A more optimal system for the most recent updates of Minecraft. So let's get right into it. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a chest at the top, um, at the top right here. So I'm just going to show you how it works and then we'll get right into the commands and how to build it step by step. Okay, so as you can see, let's just move these items away from my inventory. Right now we have a chest, and if we just stay here, hands off the keyboard, right? As you can see, the chest should close any second. Okay, so it closed by itself. I didn't press any keys on the keyboard or nothing. My hands were up like I was being held hostage, okay? So <laughs> the reason that happens is because in the latest update, well, not the latest one necessarily, but in the two years since my last tutorial came out, um, unfortunately, when you clone chests now, it also exits you out of the chest menu, which didn't happen before. So that is a bit annoying, but there are some workarounds to this. So yeah, what I would suggest is following this tutorial step by step and you should be A-OK. -okay. So in my old chest cloning thing, I used to have a chest. So let's, let's just show you right now. You can take all the items out right here. Um, but I used to have it reset like every five seconds pretty much. But now, as it closes me out, it resets again, right? So it, clon it clones once every 15 seconds. So it wouldn't have cloned yet, but it'll clone again soon. Um, let's just wait and see when that happens. Dun, 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 15 seconds later. Oh, there we go. It cloned again. So yeah, um, not as efficient as a system as earlier, but it still works. It's a way that you do it in version 1.21. Um, and it sucks that it can't clone as frequently because imagine if you're on a multiplayer, like on a multiplayer server, right? And you're all playing together. But unfortunately, since you are on a multiplayer server, <laughs> there might be a lot of people at this chest at once. And then obviously every 15 seconds isn't as good as every five seconds, which is frustrating, right? So if you, if you want to compensate for that in your world, an easy fix is to just put more items in the slots. So you see how we only have two, one of each of everything. For instance, we can fill up these chest slots with more of these items, like so. There we go. And then, um, yeah. And then that means every time someone opens a chest, they will get like two lines worth of stuff instead of one, which means if multiple people are opening the chest at once, they have an opportunity to grab items and they won't be fighting over the items and they won't be fighting over the items as much, which I think is really good, hey? And if you're not fighting over the items as much, not as much server stress, so pretty much combats the fact 
that it, it only that it clones every 15 seconds rather than like the five seconds that it was in the previous system you know so that's pretty much it guys just one other small thing as you can see i'm currently in um survival mode i just want to show that this also works for like smps and stuff as well if you didn't want to like if you didn't want to like uh if you wanted to have like a survival world um with like no adventure mode on and stuff if you wanted to set it up pretty easily as you can see i can kind of destroy around here right now i made a video in the past about server protection so if you want to know how to protect your servers or your like builds you can watch that video that shows you how you can protect stuff in survival mode that shows you how you can protect your builds against survival mode players 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 but in this version i will be showing but in this version, I haven't protected the spawn per se, because it's not really, you know, necessary. I'm just showing you guys how it works. The chest, the auto rippling chests. But the one area I did protect is the chest itself. So as you can see, I'm punching the chest right now. But I literally, and I'm holding it down and everything, trying to mine it. It's not letting me mine it. So the only thing it lets me do, the only thing it lets me do, right, is just open it, take items out. And I can't mine it or anything and take items out all right so that's pretty much the gist of things um so i reckon let's get right into the command guys the commands <laughs> anyways let's do it okay guys so first things first i'm going to give myself a bunch of items just so i'm ready for this tutorial so let's do this all right guys so as you can see in my hotbar i have a command block a deny block a chest and a diamond block the diamond block doesn't really matter, it's just a placeholder block that I'm putting on top of the chest. But for this, um, for this tutorial, you can use whatever kind of block. You can decorate it how you want to, it doesn't really matter, you know. So this is kind of the way we want to do it, guys. So let's just mine out like a 3x3 three three area, um, like so. I'll do a bit bigger, actually. Um, and we'll go like this, and we'll put a chest up here. We'll put a deny block here. We'll put, oh my god, wait, I did that incorrectly. We'll put a deny block there, and we'll put a command block. So make sure you put the deny block below the command block no matter what, at all times, okay? Because above the deny block is the chest, and above the, you know, above the diamond block is the chest as well. So you, you want to make sure that the deny is under the command block and the chest. Um, and then we have a chest right here. So essentially what happens in this system is we're going to have the command block. Um, this command block will act as the main like functionality of this system. What it will do is it's going to clone this chest two blocks above here, and it will be doing that every 15 seconds, okay? So let's just destroy this so we can access the chest. As you can see at the moment, it doesn't have anything in the chest, right? So if we... Um, we'll destroy this for now. We'll get. I'll get to later why I destroyed it. It's just like for showing you um, how the chest gets cloned and how the system works, pretty much. So we'll put the diamond block back for now, though. Like so. Oh no, actually we won't, because first we will grab some items. Um, there we go. I'll just chuck that on the floor for now. Um, so I'm thinking we'll grab like a couple of each items just so I can show you what I was explaining before with like, you can have fill up multiple slots so people can kind of, you know, um, they don't need to stress as much about like being able to get things out of the chest in things such as like servers, realms, um, just so it's a bit more laid back considering that the chest doesn't clone as frequently. I think that makes sense, right? So let's do that. Um, let's, this time let's get some netherite items. There we go. One, maybe like some netherite scrap, kind of random, I know, but like, it's just like, I'm just showing you like, you know, um, let's get a couple more tools as well. Netherite. Yeah, so I'm pretty much showing you a template of what's possible with this. You can also enchant all your items, you can do whatever you want, any items can go in the chest, it's pretty cool, it's like, it's really customizable, you can do whatever you want. You can even re rename the chest itself in an anvil, and then place it down, right? And then when you look in the chest, you see how it says chest up here? It will say whatever you named in the anvil. So if you want to do that, you can do that. It's whatever, really. Okay, so let's um, 
do an example, I'm going to do something like this, right? And the other side, we will do something similar. Mm, we'll go like this. And this will be the chest we'll be cloning now, guys. Since we've filled the chest, now we can actually put the diamond block back on top of it. But as you can see, it's not currently getting cloned to the top. Why is that, guys? Well, I'll tell you why. Well, no Okay, do I blurt that out? I'm gonna blurt that out in the video. Hopefully that's censored because I shouldn't be swearing this much. <laughs> Anyways, um, the command block hasn't been filled out yet. So we need to write the commands, guys. Let's do this. Okay, so we are writing clone, tilde, tilde one, the middle tilde, which is this one right here, that is the Y position, which means one block above the command block is getting cloned. And the tilde means the, and the tilde pretty much means the position of the command block. So tilde means the position of the command block, one means one position above, which, um, you know, X axis, Y axis, Z axis. Um, but yeah, not, not really super important to know this, but it's good to know if you want to improve commands and stuff. If you want to improve your command knowledge and everything. Um, yeah, but a tilde just by itself literally means just like the certain coordinate of the command block. So this means where the command block is, and it means that at the X axis specifically of the command block, this means the Y specifically. And again, we're going one above because we're cloning what's above the command block and then the Z axis. And then we want to clone it three blocks um, above the command block, which is why we're doing this. And then we should be all set. And this is the other important part. You need to listen carefully here, guys. We need it on repeat and we need it on always active. Let's scroll down, turn this off. And then delay and ticks, we want to set that to 300. 300 is equivalent to 15 seconds. And a way we can work that out is one tick is approximately 20, sorry, one second is approximately 20 ticks. So therefore 20 times 15 is equal to 300. Anyways, so now, as you can see, when we close out of this, within the next 15 seconds, we should pretty much see a chest appear here. Hopefully if I've done everything right. <laughs> Please, this is the first time I've done a live recording of like me doing the command creation, yes, during the video, so let's see. <gasps> okay, let's just take some items out this time and leave the rest in. But as you can see, in another 15 seconds, it will refresh, it will kick me out of the chest and it will clone everything again, guys. <gasps> there we go, guys. So yeah, let's just like kind of close it up for now. But, um, you know, Right here, we just completed our very own, um, our very own auto refilling chest system in Minecraft, which I think is really cool. And another cool thing, another important thing to note is in creative mode, you can still break it and do that if you really wanted to. <laughs> um, but in survival mode, let's go into survival. As I showed you before, you can't punch it, you can't break it. And obviously that's the same in adventure mode because adventure mode, you can usually not break things anyways. But yeah, so that's the video, guys. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking of still doing tutorial tutorial world videos, which is based in this world. We have a series where we do a lot of like command block creations and we explain step by step how to do it. Um, but yeah, since this one was really similar to the old one, it was just an update. I figured I figured it wasn't really worth making a it you know a tutorial world video, and it's my first video back, so it's more of a like introductory kind of like command video. So it didn't really fit like a series or anything. So I figured I might as well just do it. And yeah, guys, so that's pretty much the gist of things. Thank you guys for watching. And if you'd like to see more Minecraft content like this in the future, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Um, <laughs> Don't worry, this is like a copy of this world. It's a save, so don't don't get stressed. Don't get stressed out. I'm just fucking. I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. We're good, guys. Um, but yeah, seriously, more Minecraft videos coming out. At least one every single month. So be prepared. If you like Minecraft command block content and add-ons, etc., maps, 
you name it. Leave a sub, subscribe to your girl. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a nice day and please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you guys. Bye.